Yeah, let's get started. This should be good. Hey, YouTubes. I'm Grimwit. This is Gary's Mod. What map am I on? What map am I on? Hang on, hang on. I am on DE underscore Gossamer, G O S S A M R, but that's not important right now. I'm actually not here to. I'm actually not here to, to explore the map. Um, I'm here to test out my new model, because I just made a new model for myself. Um, we'll, we'll see. I, I think I need to adjust the eyes. Yeah, I need to adjust the eyes a little bit. But the hands are more expressive this time. Uh, I, it's more like my uh, my angel model. Which I, I feel like that's a good move. Um, hmm. Oh, I'm angry. Oh, I'm so angry. My mouth is fucking huge. Oh, yeah, I need to do something like that. But this casual one, I think I got the mouth right. I was a little worried about how that would go. Hmm. Yeah, the mouth is in the right position, I feel. And it doesn't stick out. Like, I don't do that chin thing. Well, I do do a chin thing. Because I actually do that. <laughs> I actually do that in real life. Whenever I'm talking about something and I'm trying to be, like, thinking about it. This is, I call this the interested pose. Yeah. Uh, angry is angry. Um, make yourself big. Put your arms out like you're getting ready to swing those fists. Yeah, like, like you do. And sad is, um, got to droop the arms. So that's coming out good, too. I'm pretty sure, um, I'm pretty sure those are poisonous. And of course I have the obligatory ooh woo. Ooh woo. I, mmm. The eyes aren't right. It's not an ooh woo eyes. Okay, I need to fix that. I'll fix that. So, uh, I'm just relaxing. This is my last weekend to myself for December. Uh, I do plan on putting out a couple of December maps. Special. Uh, while I'm here, um, I guess, I guess I'll, I'll explain some, can I not get past this? The impenetrable Zamboni. The okay, I can't go past this. Hmm. Like that. Like the little. Like the assets. Like the dragon too. Is that the tattoo from the girl with the dragon tattoo? Let me tell you about the Silent Hill bathroom. This is a real bathroom. I did encounter it. I'll tell you a story. <clears throat> We're heading over to the Ren Fair in Texas. Uh, it's me, a few of my friends, a couple of fans of my old comic back when I still used to draw a web comic, and uh, uh, we're we're driving, and I have to use the restroom. Um, and they're like, "Well, we're kind of in the middle of everywhere, uh, Mike." Okay, those are the mushrooms from Open Sewer. Those are the mushroom lamps from Open Sewer. So we're gonna. Oh, yeah, and there's there's Osmolt from Infra and Open Sewer. Okay, we are we are in we are in the Infra area. Got it. Um, so I gotta go to the bathroom. They're like, well, uh, Grimwit, there is no bathroom around here. We're in the middle of nowhere. We're in North Texas on I-35, where there is nothing. You cannot go to the bathroom. There is no bathroom. We will pull to the side of the road, and maybe you can use the grass. But, but I didn't have to. I'm just like, you know what? I can wait. I have a strong bladder. For now. Uh, it was when I was younger. And um, I can wait. So whatever comes up next, just stop at the first gas station. Either way. Fine. Fine. We'll, we'll stop at the next gas station. And they do. And it's... Oh. Oh, no. Not this bathroom. Like, Beggies can't be choosies. Because when you need a toilet, you're going to get a toilet. Right? It's... I, I, I don't care. I don't care. I am I am a civilized man. I do not feel comfortable uh, weeing on the side of the road while many other passers-by on I-35 are, are staring at me. Um, so, I'm, I'm... Any bathroom will do. I don't care... How bad it is. I should have cared how bad it was. Uh, no, no damage was done. <laughs> I can't believe I have to start by saying that. Um, but like... Ooh, mushrooms. 
Um, I get into this place. Uh, I like okay. We we pull in, and you get those red flags, like um, bars on the windows for a convenience store is never a good sign. Uh, it had at least one broken pump, like gas pump, uh, out of two, and uh, it was one of those those dirty abandoned looking buildings but the lights are still on inside so you have to assume somebody's in there and i i walk into the front door i'm the only one who experienced this so you you only have my word to take for it uh, i walk in through the front door and the first thing that i noticed is that like half of the door half of the store is empty of product it's just empty shelves on one side of the room and no working like i don't remember there being much in the refrigerated area of the you know how convenience stores have those like swing up doors this area this area looks like it's aped from cry of fear nice um you you know how you oh you, you go over to the drink section you have these refrigerators that you open up and it's just like okay uh I want some Mountain Dew, I don't know, uh, Gran Gushing Granny, the, the green apple one. Uh, and I, I will take, the no, there, there aren't any. There are no drinks on that side. There are no, I don't remember there being any drinks in the refrigerated areas. And there's nothing on half of it. The, the other half is like the part that's close to the counter because they have realized that, you know, somebody's going to steal, which makes no sense. There's no buildings around. This is the only building for like miles around but just in case somebody steals let's stack everything up towards the counter um and it was like you would what you would expect Cal calories salt fats sugars um the the road fare uh, and i i don't remember the deli having anything in it but i remember it having a deli it was just an empty I th there were there are tables that look like they're made out of cardboard or fiber wood. It, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Fine. I ask the guy behind the counter. There are two guys behind the counter. And they stop in the middle of whatever conversation they had because I walked in and disturbed them. I would think this is rude, but I also have worked at a gas station before. So I'm like, nah, you know what? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Hey, guys, I'm just here for a bathroom. And I, I mean, I'll buy a stick of gum or something. Like, we don't have gum. Like, all right. Uh, where's your restroom? It's like, no, it's fine. Just go. The restroom is in that hall. Just down that hall to the left. Okay. This is where the adventure starts. And the sirens start blaring for, like, you know, the transference to the other world. And the wallpaper peels away in ash, revealing rusty fences. You know, I'm like, sure, no, this, this, this is fine. I, this is This is fine. I will go into this dark hallway. There was no light. There was no fucking light. There was a light. It. So okay, let me, let me explain what this hallway was like. So imagine, imagine this this doorway here. Imagine this is the hallway. This is the entrance to the hallway, right? And so you have this straight hallway that leads to the back of the store where this truck is, right? This is a little bit larger, but not much larger. And then you have one doorway right here where like this area is and the rest is wall wall and the light was no where was the light the light was like right here so it illuminated this dark hallway and it illuminated kind of illuminated the back of the hallway where the exit was but it wasn't a great illumination it was like a dull yellow bulb we're talking like 20 watt bulb yeah, kind of like where that leak is right there. So, so I'm like, you know what? I'm a, I'm a brave boy uh, to to ape on market player. I'm a brave boy. I can handle this, and I have to use the restroom. And there is no other bathroom for miles. There's no buildings for miles. There's just fields and cows. Now that I might, but that's it. And I can't use a cow to use the restroom. Can I use a cow? Can I piss in a cow? Like, I guess they wouldn't care. No, no, cows, cows will trample you. You know what? No, I shouldn't do that. Point is. All right. 
walking down the hallway. Uh, the way that this... The, the doorway that leads to the bathroom is just solid black. There's no light, and I don't have my phone on me, so I can't use it as a flashlight, and I don't... I generally don't bring lights with me because I'm like 99% of the population. I am not prepared for outdoor living when I'm headed to the Ren Fair one summer's eve. I swing my left hand to try to find the wall of the hallway in hopes of feeling around for a light and my hand just continues swinging into nothing. There is no solid wall, like right here. It, it was just like, swing, and my hand disappears into the darkness. I could have easily have walked into this hallway with my eyes closed and it would have the same effect. So fine. I'm not gonna ask those people back there for help or for a light. I just feel my way into this darkness. Eventually I feel a doorway. I assume it's the bathroom, the only bathroom. I didn't see a men's or women's sign on it because I didn't see anything. So I, I, I go through the doorway and I'm feeling around looking, grasp, my eyes are clawing at the darkness trying to find any clue as to what is going on in this room, what I'm in, where I'm in. Uh, eventually my hands do the looking for me and I find a light switch. And I'm like, thank Christ, a light. And I flick it on and it works, it works. And I wish to God it hadn't. This is the filthiest bathroom. The only thing it was missing was life. There were no bugs, there were no roaches, there were no flies, there was nothing in this bathroom except a sink and the most unusual toilet. It was one of those toilets that had one of those, um, the, the water reservoir was way up high above the actual chair. And there, there was no urinal. I don't know if I was in the girl's bathroom. I couldn't tell you. Um, however, there was a ventilation system that was clearly part of like the, the AC, right? Uh, and the ventilation system was situated... God, I wish I could find a bathroom in this map now so I could show you what I'm talking... Okay, imagine this chair, right? Uh, imagine this Zamboni is the, is, the, is the chair, right? So the ventilation was situated in such a way that it went across in front of... It, it directly in front of the toilet and offwards into the building in the, into the empty part of the convenience store. In order to sit into this, onto this toilet, you had to fit yourself in like a Tetris piece to actually get in. Ooh, I want in there. Okay, we're, we're on, I'm just gonna keep my way in here because I want to see what, this is cool. Um, uh-oh, that's a good sign. Um, you had to fit yourself in like a Tetris piece to get into this toilet. I have to use the restroom. I'm sitting down into this toilet. I don't remember if the toilet was clean. I think it was more a matter of I didn't want to know. And I couldn't stand up to pee because in order to do that, I would have to have removed the ventilation system. So I had to sit down with my face full of vent it was full of, there was a fucking steel or one of those tin foil vents in front of my face. That is what I'm staring at as I'm using the restroom. It's fine. It's fine. I figured, you know what? I got a story out of it. It's cool. I'm sure this is, this does look like Pyramid Head's bathroom. Um, it's fine. I, uh, I use the restroom. I carefully maneuver my way from behind the vent to get off of the toilet and uh, I am relieved and I turn on <laughs> the the sink coughs it fucking coughed out water 
I didn't use the water. Uh, there was no soap. That's not why I didn't use the water. I didn't trust the water. I figured I will buy a bottle of water on the way out. Um, and then I left. And that was the Silent Hill bathroom. Uh, th thankfully, they didn't ask for me to purchase anything. Um, I Actually, I... I didn't even look at them on the way by. I was afraid it would be like something out of Jacob's Ladder and I, I would see like a tail flick between one of their legs or something. Um, it was it was an experience. Uh, I, I mean, this is years ago and I'm sure I'm embellishing a little bit out of it just because I can't remember all of it, but this is how I remember it. And that's, uh, that's it. And I feel like I've, I feel like I have I feel like I need to make a couple of adjustments on the model. My eyes are too far to the left. Pull them to the right a little bit. So I need to work on the uwu. I need little uwu eyes. They have the W mouth. That's fine. And my tail now like shakes a little bit. I don't know if you noticed. My, let me get get a bright background. My tail shakes a little bit when I talk, and I think that's cute. I like that. That was that was actually hard to get right. Okay, so that's my story, and this was D uh, D E underscore Gossamer. Um, thanks, uh, thanks for tuning in. That was a hell of a thing. Yeah. Later, YouTubes.